download our app available from the App Store and Play Store. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's daily bulletin. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday inaugurated Sri Madhusudan Science Institute of Medical Science and Research, Sri Satya Sai Rajeshwari Memorial Block, a totally free of cost medical college and hospital at Satya Sai Grama, Mudenahili in uh, Chika Balapura district. The SMSI SMR Hospital has been established by Sri Satya Sai University for Human Excellence. Situated in a rural area and established with a vision of decommercializing medical education and healthcare, the college would provide medical education and quality medical care completely free of cost to all. If you reside close to a busy road, you may feel as though the constant noise of the motors, honking of the horns and wailing of sirens raises your blood pressure. The reality was supported by a fresh study published in JACC Advances. Jing Hong, Assistant Professor in the Department of Occupational and Environmental Health Sciences in the School of Public Health at Peking University in Beijing, China, and lead author of the study said that we were a little surprised that the association between road traffic noise and hypertension was robust even after adjustment for air pollution. Opinion that post-mortem reports or injury reports prepared by the doctors should be in type format and legible. The Allahabad High Court bench has recently asked the Principal Secretary of UP Medical Health and Family Welfare Department to issue proper direction to all the Chief Medical Officers of the state in this regard. The Senior Registrar of this court is directed to forward a copy of this order to the Principal Secretary, Medical Health and Family Welfare Government of UP. Lucknow forward for necessary compliance read the order by High Court Bench of Justice Bridge Raj Singh. The infection of a deadly drug-resistant fungus known as Candida auris or C. auris has been spreading in the US at an unprecedented pace since the COVID-19 pandemic announced US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As per media reports, the fungus is regarded by the CDC as an urgent antimicrobial resistance threat resisting antifungal drugs and can easily spread in hospitals and its infection rate has increased three-folds in the past three years in which half of the states reported the infections. Those who get infected by this fungus are found to be already under medical care which makes it difficult to identify their infection. CDC has noted that its common symptoms are chills and fever that do not get better even after the antibiotics and may lead to infections in other body parts such as the heart and brain. Receiving medication for opioid use disorders such as buprenorphine after an overdose leads to lower mortality risk according to a Rutgers study. Rutgers researchers found that opioid-involved overdose deaths following non-fatal overdose events are largely preventable with buprenorphine medication for opioid use disorder. The researchers have recently shown that proteins involved in the DNA damage response, that is the DDR, are critical for Keras mutant pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma cell growth in vitro. However, the CRISPR-Cas9 library that enabled the identification of these key proteins contained limited representation of the DDR-related genes. In their recent study, the researchers from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill performed a comprehensive DDR-focused CRISPR-Cas9 loss of function screen to actually further investigate the DDR in this context. This screen identified valosin-containing protein as an essential gene in the Keras mutant PDAC cell lines. The team observed that genetic and pharmacological inhibition of VCP-limited cell growth and it also induced an apoptotic death. To address the basis for VCP-dependent growth, they first evaluated the contribution of VCP to the DDR and found that loss of VCP resulted in accumulation of DNA double-strand breaks. The traditional treatment for early-stage non-small cell lung cancer is a lobectomy where as a surgeon eradicates cancerous tissue by removing the entire lung lobe. Yet, new research finds that select patients with early-stage disease who undergo a less invasive procedure have comparable outcomes, sparking hope for a less aggressive approach to lung cancer surgery. So the 10-year study published in the New England Journal of Medicine and led by the University of Chicago Medicine medical oncologist Everett Wokes adds to evidence that supports a new standard to preserve lung tissue in cancer patients whenever possible. 
In this study, 697 patients with peripheral stage 1 tumors, less than 2 cm in size, were randomly assigned to undergo a lobectomy or a sublobar resection, where part of the cancerous lobe is actually removed. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.